Hey everyone, welcome. That would make a really good clapboard. You know, like the movies. Three, two, one. Welcome to Salt Life Builds. Today I'm gonna to show you how to build a simple wooden box the easy way. It's a very straightforward process and it didn't take me that long at all. Let's get into it. For my box, I cut two pieces to 14 and a half inches and two pieces to eight and a half inches. I then stripped all four pieces to three and a half inches. After they were stripped, all the ends needed to be cut to 45 degrees. You might need to trim up the cut if they aren't perfect. The next step is to cut the grooves for the bottom panel to sit in. I mark the bottom of each side. and then set my saw blade a half inch away from the guide. I made sure to cut the side that was marked as the bottom. Run all of the pieces through before adjusting the blade. That way, all of the grooves will be the exact same width. After the second pass, I checked to see if my quarter inch panel would fit. I was just a touch small, so I made a tiny adjustment and made another pass. To find the panel size, I measured from the ends of the groove cuts. The length was 12 and 3 quarters, and the width was 7 and 3 eighths. 
I adjusted my table saw and cut the quarter inch panel to size. I then dry fitted the panel to check the fit. After I was satisfied with the fit, I removed one piece of tape and kept the rest connected. I added glue to the corners and put the box back together. After adding a couple extra pieces of tape, I set it out to dry. Once the glue is dried, I remove the tape. I used a scrap piece of pine for the top. Now, just a heads up, the next step is super advanced. Line up the box with the corner of the top piece and trace the other sides. Then, cut the lines. Check the fit and make any needed adjustments. To attach the hinges, I marked two inches from the ends. I then brought the hinge to the mark and penciled where to drill my pilot holes. You want to hand tighten the hinges, so use a screwdriver.
To get the lid flush with the sides, I sanded it down with 120 grit sandpaper. I wiped off the dust and then rubbed on a wood polish to bring out the color and the grain. After it sat for an hour, I wiped off the extra polish. And then it was finished. If this helped you at all, please leave a like and hit the subscribe button. Have a good one. <laughs> nice. Perfect.